This morning we continue to celebrate and uh, honor the ANC struggle icon Ahmed Katrada who has died this morning at the age of 87. Recently, Katrada was admitted to hospital for surgery relating to a blood clot on the brain. Katrada was one of three surviving Ravonia trialists with Andrew Mlangeni and Dennis Goldberg. Along with Nelson Mandela, Walter Sisulu and Governor Mbeki, they were sentenced in 1964 to life imprisonment on Robben Island for charges related to sabotage during the famous Ravonia trial. Uncle Kathy, as he was affectionately known, spent 18 years on Robben an island until October 1982 when he was moved to Polesmoor prison near Cape Town. He was released from prison in October 1989 and then in 1994 he was elected as an ANC MP and appointed as political advisor to the late President Mandela. The struggle stalwart was or has received numerous accolades and awards. In 2008, the Ahmed Katrada Foundation was launched, which has its mandate deepening non-racialism in South Africa. Katrada will be buried at West Park Avalon Cemetery in accordance with Muslim burial rites. So this morning, um, for obvious reasons, that's the focus of the broadcast. We'll keep on updating you of other stories as well. But uh, right now, I'd like to talk to Zizi Kodwa, who is the ANC spokesperson about Ahmed Katrada. In fact, initially you were coming in to talk about the uh, past NEC meeting that was held, which we'll get to hopefully in a short while. But right now, I think we need to honor uh, Ahmed Katrada. Thank you for talking to us this morning. Thanks very much. I, we, we, are, we are certainly certain on the passing of such a great leader of our revolution. Uh, Uncle Kathy was not a normal member, a normal leader of the African National Congress. We, we lost one of Isi Twalandwe, and Isi Twalandwe is the highest honor in the African National Congress, which is bestowed to individuals who have, who have demonstrated an outstanding contribution and sacrifice to the struggle. And I think there are few of such individuals. That's why there are very few Isi Twalandwe in the African National Congress because there are certain tests that uh, they go through, sacrifice, commitment, humility. We lost, he's, joining, he's part of the generation that continued to, to inspire all of us in South Africa. That generation that sacrificed everything, uh, sacrificed their freedom for a freedom of others, which is our freedom. Yeah. Uh, he's an architect of non-racialism, and he continues to inspire us until his last breath. And I think it's important that we'll remember him. Uh, at the same time, we'll celebrate that generation of stalwarts of East Twalandwe that is joining like President Mandela, Walter Sisulu, those who spent time in trenches fighting for us to be here today. You can only imagine the kind of South Africa will be had they spent the time that they spent in jail outside of South Africa. South Africa would have been a much better country. Yeah. If the 27 years, the 26 years, all of them they spent in jail, they spent outside in a democratic free South Africa. I'm sure today we'll look back and say, thank you very much, South Africa is a much better country. Yeah. But colonialism and apartheid incarcerated them for years in jail. And they only spent half of their time in jail to experience few years under a democratic government, free, where everybody, particularly the black majority, we, we were free finally. Yeah, and I think yeah. we would like to thank uh, Uncle Kathy and the generation that is departed. Uh, there are very few of that generation that is remaining, but they continue to be the mirror to inspire us as a living generation that we must continue to fight and soldier on selflessly, not only because we want to be ourselves, but for the sake of our people. You know, when we think of Ahmed Kitrado, I mean, he's a man that uh, I think joined the political ranks from when he was 17 years old. This man only knew politics, and yet he did it in such a in such a wonderful manner. If there was one thing that we do remember about Ahmed Katrada is his humility, and also the fact that um, he was a strong leader, but he still had a wonderful sense of humour about him, and that and that I think is something that many of us uh, may or may not know about him. Your interactions with uh, with. Uncle Kathy, as we like to call him, what were they? I mean, what is something that really stands out for you? Something common about that generation, and it's very, it's, it's not common you find in these days, even in the leaders, broadly even in society, uh, whether it's President Mandela, whether it's uh, Secretary General Walter Sisulu, and many others. There's one common value which is very important, humility. Yeah. And um, regardless of the position they held, different positions in the organization and in society, but they remain very humble, down to earth, and they respected everybody. But above all, what was important to them was to serve the people. And they respected people regardless of a person's position or location in society. And that value is important. But also they respected their own positions. That the position they held or they hold 
it was on, the, on, on behalf of the people. It was not on behalf of themselves. So they never regarded themselves as bigger than everybody, including the fact that they would undermine those, they looked down upon people because of the position they held. Uncle Kathy embodied those values uh, of Nelson Mandela. There's a generation, for some reason, it's like the, 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 they came from the same founding of wisdom in terms of understanding, sharing values of honesty, commitment, selflessness, dedication, that whatever they do, they'll never betray the objectives of a revolution. Uncle Kathy was very down to earth. Yeah, if you meet him, very... you greet him, um, with his history, you won't believe and understand this is an icon. Indeed. You think that is somebody very, he was a very ordinary man. Yeah. That is a, what a value of any revolutionary must be. It must yeah. be very ordinary. It must be easy accessible to people. And you must, every day, Whatever you do, you must seek to resolve the problems of the people. An ordinary man who led an extraordinary life and did extraordinary things for South Africa. We're going to continue talking about uh, the wonderful Ahmed Katrada. Please, we really do want to hear from you. You can get hold of us at Morning Live SABC. That, of course, is our Twitter handle. As we continue to talk about the life, the times, and the legacy, of course, we'll get more people into this conversation in a short while, of the late Ahmed Katrada passing on this day 27th of March, 19, uh, nine, uh, 2017. Do stay tuned. We'll have more after this.